Okay, so in order to prove that uh, my GCC is installed properly, I will just run a simple program here which converts any number into octadecimal value or give its decimal value and the hexadecimal value. Okay, so I will just run it again. As you could see, the code has already code was already executed, but I still run ran it. Okay, so as you could see, my GCC compiler is working properly. Okay. So now if we're getting any errors like this one, the uninstalling and the new installation procedure from the source forge, like the get and it downloads some other files and it and this one is the old installer, but still it's giving this the these errors. In some cases, the file has not been downloaded incorrectly. So today I will tell you the easiest way to download MinGW and install it and work with it. Okay. So what I will do is I will just go over to this website and you also need to go over to this website and uh, which I will be providing in the description the link okay now what I will do is I will just uh, go back here okay again go back this was not the website I would be providing yeah again okay so this will be the website I will be providing in the description okay so as you will go back here, you will be finding uh, this 8.10. Okay, we need the latest version. So you don't need to download the online installer. You just need to download this one. Okay, if you, if online installer works for you, then it's great. I will also tell you a process and and to check how to actually uh, check whether MinGW is installed or not. You could skip to that part of your video either as the video is divided in timestamps. Okay, so you will have to just click on it and you will see a download will be starting okay so in my case my internet sucks okay so wait i will just do it again for you <laughs> and as you could see your download will be starting shortly and if you are i mean if it's not starting then you just go here and click on the direct link okay but it will start or refresh the page two three times it will work okay currently my internet is sucking when I install this video okay now as you could see I already downloaded it long ago and it's a dot 7 z file okay so now all you need to do is to go to the 7 zip now this is an alternative to your uh, winrar and winzip okay now winrar and winzip posts uh, unwanted messages so you need to download this software uh, it, it can extract your rar files it can extract your zip files and your uh, 7z files as well and when you in try to install it it shows you a message that it's unsafe but you can go on with it just click on view details and uh, install anyway you can figure that out figure that out and you just need to click on download here and go on going to downloads you can simply just install it okay from here that in dot exe file okay now if i go to my downloads folder you will see this uh, file which I just uh, downloaded from that source forge website which I provided the link in the description and which showed me this message the site can't be reached because of my internet but still it will work okay and if it doesn't work I will provide an alternative link to it a drive link most probably okay so all you need to do is to click on right click and show more options and go to 7zip and extract to this option okay now this 7-zip is a really great software, you owe me for that now, okay, you can install zip files, rar files and it doesn't throw messages like winrar throws that this is not a free software and this is a free software 7-zip, okay. Uh, now if you go to your Windows C and under your program files, sec uh, program files uh, folder, if this folder is not there, minjwv64 means if you have attempted to install minjw before it must be there or else it must be not there, okay. So what I will do is I will just make this folder again if you don't have just uh keep this uh name in mind minjw hyphen w64 all in small cases okay and just uh copy this folder from here and uh paste it here okay program files minjw and paste it here as you could see i've already pasted it okay so you need to paste it there okay now in, uh, inside that just go in here go to the bin folder and just copy the path okay you know what the path is okay so you're coding that means you are a, you must be a really great person okay so now you just need to copy it and just search over in your windows edit environment variables okay 
now you just need to go to environment variables now you just need to go to the system variables folder and click on edit okay wait so to click on edit oh no 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 you just need to go to this path icon and click on edit okay click on this path and click on edit okay now as you could see i've already added this path here so i will delete it to, in order to demonstrate to you how to add a path just click on new and paste the path which you just copied from here okay just paste, click on new and paste the path which you just copied from here and click on okay now after this just simply click on okay don't click on cancel anywhere okay now this pin shortcut was made accidentally okay now in order to check whether your mingw has been installed correctly or not okay so as you could see that download which i just prompted in the beginning has started so no use of that now uh, in order to check whether your mingw is has been installed correctly or not so i was using vs code in order to demonstrate that and the installation for that is quite easy and people there are a lot of people who have showed it over the internet but and you can also figure it out yourself okay I will just close in order to check whether your GCC has been installed or not. That's a pretty uh, that's a pretty useful process. You just need to type GCC space double hyphen and save version. You will be able to get this message GCC build by NGW and this thing. And if you get this message, you are good to go. And you can code simply and that's all. Okay and inform me in case i will be providing this uh, link in the description if it doesn't work for you i will be providing a drive alternative drive link okay so that's all thanks for watching this video